Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your favorite Invert here. And today we're gonna to be going over a firmware update for the Inspire 2. It's the latest and greatest for the Inspire 2. And basically uh, the biggest one that I'm concerned about because most of the firmware update concerns the X7, which I do not have, I have the X5S. But uh, this firmware also says that it improves hovering ability and stability uh, in a hover and I'm going to test it in ground effect as well as out of ground effect and see how much the Inspire 2 dances around. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so let's talk about the Inspire 2 release notes real quick and go over what's new. So they added support for Apple ProRes RAW and Apple ProRes RAW HQ when using Cine SSD for Zenmuse X7. Now from what I've been told and from what I've read and understand that this is only applicable if you have the Cine DNG RAW or if you have the RAW licenses purchased. You will not be able to get Apple ProRes RAW if you only have the ProRes certificates or the ProRes license and that is as much as I understand. It has updated Cine SSD's file systems for FAT32 to XFAT. After the firmware update, FAT32 must be manually formatted in order to update to XFAT. Fix an issue in ProRes videos where the color is abnormal when the white balance value is higher than 8000. Optimized aircraft hovering performance in low altitude below 8 meters indoors when the ambient light conditions are sufficient. So as long as your room is well lit below eight meters, the aircraft will be able to hover properly. Improve flight stability by optimizing the compass data fusion algorithm for flight at high latitude. So apparently this is going to create a more stable aircraft. Updated flight safe system. User can now unlock various flight restrictions. After the update, users must re-import the unlocking certificate. The unlocking certificate requires the approval of the relevant local aviation authorities. And for more information, please contact flysafe at dji.com. And again, guys, I'm reading these release notes straight off the book, which is available to you at DJI's website. Link in the description below. Um, they go on to say that they have fixed an issue where a gimbal pan rotates when switching flight modes, adding function that uses the LS and RS levels to adjust the maximum gimbal rotation speed for the ascendance controller, added function to customizable buttons, added gimbal pitch, auto return to center and towards downward 90 degrees. That's for ascendance version 2.00.0120. Inspire 2 standard remote controller version 01.01.0020 and DJI Go for app version of 4.2.24 or above as required. Updated the battery firmware to version 1.0.0.67 and that apparently is the same as the Matrice 200 series. And um, I guess there is one that's coming soon. Uh, I guess the DJI Go 4 app version is coming soon because there's a star by it when using the inspire 2 with the zen muse x4s x5s and x7 it is recommended to update both at the same time ensure both the master and the slave remote controllers are updated to the latest firmware to avoid control errors or camera and gimbal abnormalities and if the firmware update fails restart the aircraft remote controller and dji go for app then retry all right, guys, so that is the entire release notes offered by DJI. This firmware version for the aircraft is .0200. For the remote controller firmware, it is .0020. And for the app versions, the Go4 app for iOS is 4.2.22. And for Android, it is 4.2.21. 
So with that, let's get back to the show. So, as you can tell, we're at the field right now. We have done the update to the Inspire 2, and we also did both batteries while we were at it. Um, that's important if you have multi sets of batteries, um, which I just happen to have. Uh, only have two sets, which is four batteries. If you're not familiar with the Inspire 2, it takes two batteries to operate this machine. That way, if one battery fails, you have a spare to quickly get to the ground. And like I said, I have the X5S camera. Now, we still are going to hook that up just so that we can get some picture out of the Inspire 2. But the majority of the firmware update dealt with the X7 and uh, some features and functions updates for it. So, all in all... Um, my biggest thing, as I said earlier in the intro, is to test whether or not this is going to be stable uh, or more stable than what it has been. If you've seen some of my previous videos, I have not been um, so pleased with how stable or unstable, I should say, the Inspire 2 has. It seems to uh, want to dance around a bit, so uh, wasn't too happy about that. Hopefully um, this time. Uh, it'll at least be more uh, stable. Now, it did say in the firmware update that this stability was for indoor mode, um, which I'm kind of hoping that will also transfer over to outdoor mode, um, which we will see. And this is the first flight uh, since the firmware update. I actually updated this last night, and this is the day after, so we will see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and back up the Mavic Pro and uh, hopefully get some footage of this thing uh, taking off. It's just the weather hasn't been the best, you know? So I'm hoping that the Mavic Pro will have the camera enough to um, boost the shadows in post. And it looks like I might have to land, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, we're going to be tracking me. Hoping that the Inspire 2 will be good to go. I'm going to keep both controls close by. So hopefully there's no interference. All right, I'm good to go. Ready to go. GPS lock. Uh, let's spin her up. Take off. The home point has been updated. Landing gear raising. Okay. So we're in a hover right now. And, uh, okay. Actually, I'm really impressed right now. It's not dancing around. It's going up and down, maybe a total of a foot to a foot and a half. And uh, let's lower it just a little bit more. Uh, let's get it over here so you guys may be able to see it better. Yeah. All right, so this is what I would consider in-ground effect. Uh, we're about four to five feet off the ground. And uh, I'm actually really impressed right now, the Inspire 2. All right, so the wind is coming from my left going to my right. So the way you're looking at it, your right, my left. And uh, yeah, it's locked, it's solid. And uh, hey, I like it. So let's actually go ahead and, okay, that's a picture, I don't want a picture. All right, we are recording, so I'm going to go ahead and do a little stint, just testing stability purposes. All right, battery is good to go. We are smooth sailing here. I'm actually, okay, shutter is 60. All right, 4K. Yep, 30 frames per second, so... Shutter speed is good and everything like that. There we go, there's a...
There's my Mavic Pro. So that just made my day. Basically, that was the only thing um, that I wanted to test out, guys, because basically everything else, like I said earlier, was for the X7. Um, and I'll, I'll show you on the screen what the majority of the updates and upgrades were for this firmware. Uh, but my stick controls still seem fine. Um, may have to do a little bit more tuning, uh, but that's kind of be that's to be expected after a firmware update of any kind you want to go through your settings and just make sure that everything is still set the way you want it and uh, you're still good to go in that sense going on a recap of this video you saw an initial takeoff I took off raised it to about four feet in height and uh, I say it maybe elevation changed about a foot foot and a half and uh, it stayed locked on GPS coordinate wise uh, stayed locked on uh, to where it was in hover even while moving and uh, raising it to 15 to 20 feet, it still stayed locked in a hover with maybe uh, no more than a foot or two of deviation in altitude. GPS was locked on rock solid and it basically it, it's competing with this Mavic Pro right now. Mavic Pro, if you guys have seen my channel or are familiar with it, this is the best by far for stability's sake, just in the low profile, in the wind and in calm conditions too. So DJI, thank you very much for that. Now that you got that fixed, I guess you can go ahead and work on some other things, maybe work on the Phantom's camera and how it likes to wander off when you're uh, when you're in flight and you're filming stuff. So maybe you can work on that next. Maybe you'll hear me out and uh, fix that. But uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I appreciate all your support. And like I said, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. That's gonna wrap it up. We'll see you next video.